Hello and welcome to Bella's Crafty Cards. I'm Bella. Firstly, I'd like to welcome you to Bella's Crafty Card for my very first video. Today I'm going to be making a side stepper card. Okay, let's get started. Okay, to do the side stepper card, you need a sheet of A4 card cut down to 28 centimetres. Okay, then the best thing I can suggest you do is fold the whole thing in half, like that. Okay, which gives you your first score mark. Okay, next, what you need to do is you need to measure 11 and a half centimeters from one end and two and a half centimeters up, and you need to mark that. Then you need to go to your other side and you need to go 11 and a half centimetres up and 7 centimetres in and put a dot. Okay, so that's 11 and a half in, 2 and a half up, 11 and a half in and 7 centimetres up. Gives you two dots, okay. What you need to do is you join the two dots up and you need to cut it with your craft knife. Okay? Once you've done that, okay, you now need to finish off doing the score marks on this side. Okay? So your first score mark will be at your two and a half centimetre where you put your dot. Now don't forget you're not going to go all the way across, you're just going to do half okay so your first score mark will be two and a half centimeters then your next one will be five centimeters which makes them two then two and a half centimeters each because whatever your first score mark is your second one needs to be the same okay then you need to do a third score line which will be at nine and a half centimetres and then your centre score line is where you folded your paper in half. Each one of these two measures four and a half centimetres. Okay, to do this final section from your centre score line you're going to mark seven centimetres and score it and then that will be seven centimetres to the end of your card stop. So I'll explain that again. Once you've cut your line, you're going to do your first score line at two and a half centimetres. Your second score line will be at five centimetres. Your third score line will be at nine and a half centimetres. Your fourth score line is the halfway point. Your fifth score line will be seven centimeters from your middle point, leaving you a last seven centimeters to the end. Okay, I do have all the measurements row down there. If you do wish to have these, visit my blog and I'll put the measurements on there for you. Okay, so let me get my piece of cardstock that I've already cut and scored. Okay, now this side is where I have all my score, score marks, and that side will be where I want to place my topper. Okay, so to fold these score lines, you're going to do the first one will be a mountain it's high okay the next one is a valley so we get to the side we've got a mountain and a valley okay the next one will be a mountain followed down to a valley and then your next one's your mountain which goes down to the end of your card okay once you have them all scored and folded, 
crease them with your bone folder to make them nice and crisp. Okay, and when you stand it up, that's what you get. Okay, now I'm going to decorate this card now. Here I have a chopper that I've made using an awful nestability. I drew the bottom half of the egg by hand, made some little eyes, a nose, and I've given it some googly eyes. And then I've mounted that onto some mirror card. Okay, foam pads on the back. Just going to stick that down for you now. There we go. Next, what I've done is I've cut out some egg shaped pieces of coloured card, pattern card and a white one with a little chick's face on it. Right, I've cut these out with my nest abilities. That's the small size and that's the larger size egg. Okay. I think they're actually the next size up to each other. Okay. Now, I'm just going to firstly attach three eggs to the back. I'm going to put some tape runner. I'm going to have that one in the centre. That one to one side. And that one to that side. Okay. And that's on your back, back piece of your stepper. Fold down to the next stepper. Okay. Again, I put some tape runner. Right, this little fella, okay, he's going to be my peeking chick, okay. I'm just going to pop him right at the back. And then, I'm going to layer up the rest, okay. So, I think I'll have that one there. section here you could write happy Easter or if you wanted to change the card completely and have floral pattern you could have happy birthday anything you like but there you go there's our card finished and there's the other one Thank you very, very much for joining me for my first video and I hope to see you again soon.